Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Design Spark mechanical tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to draw a quick little part and then I'll show you how to add text to your 3D models. Let's get started. I've got my Design Spark mechanical open here and I'll start out by hitting File, New, and then New Design. I'll hit the plan view to get a straight on look at it here. And also, I want to change this to metric. So I'll come down here and hit Design Spark Options. And come down here to Units and change this to metric. And then we can get started drawing this little part. All right, I see from my sketch that uh, this, part, this part is 300 millimeters uh, wide and the center line would be at 150. So just to put a center line real quick, I'm gonna come here to the origin, start drawing a construction line here, hit the space bar key, and I'm gonna put 150. And then I'm gonna come and put from the end of that line and come up, we'll hit the space bar key again, and we'll just hit 100 millimeters. Now come back and hit select and highlight that first line I put and I can get rid of that because I don't really don't really need that one. Okay, now that I've got my center line drawn, I'm going to hit select and I'm going to come here and highlight this and hit right click and set this as a mirror line. And I'll come to the line command and come right here, come straight up from the origin, hit the space bar key and put 25 millimeters. Then I will come from the end of that line and come over and hit the space bar and type in 60 millimeters. And then I'll come back down here and hit the space bar again and type in 80 millimeters. Okay, so now I've got that mirrored on both sides and I don't really need to use that line as a mirror line anymore. So I'm going to hit select. Come over here and select that center line, right click and turn the mirror line off. So now it's not working as a mirror line. Okay, now that we got our mirror line turned off, I'm gonna come up here and hit the three point arc. And I'm gonna come here and hit the left side here, come over here and hit the right side. And I wanna bring this up right about there and we'll hit our space bar and then type in 80 millimeters there's our first arc there now we'll come up and hit that three point arc again come over here and hit this left side come over here to the right side and i know that this one is going to be about 105 millimeters because we're adding the 25 plus the 80 so there we've got that part on there and now let's put some dimensions on our sketch here to make sure we've got everything correct so let's just hit our little dimension tool here we've got 25 millimeters there we've got 300 millimeters here we've got 80 millimeters there. We've got 60 millimeters there. And we've got our 80 millimeters there. So that's uh, that should be everything we need for that. So now we can turn this into a 3D model. So we'll hit 3D mode and we'll hit the home to swing this around so we can get a better look at it. Now I'm gonna select the face here and I'm gonna hit pull. And as I hit this here, I'm gonna come over here to where this little menu pops out and I'm gonna go pull from both sides. And you'll notice I get two arrows here. So as I pull this now, it's gonna pull it equally from both sides. So I'm gonna pull it a little bit and I'm gonna hit the space bar and I'm gonna put 150 millimeters. And that, our little part should look something like this here. All right, 
trying to get this spun around here and keep it where you, you can still see the sketch. There we go. Okay, now that we've got our part drawn, I'm going to get rid of the little sketch in the corner there to give us some more room. And I'm going to show you how to put some text on this curved surface right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this flat surface here. And I'm going to come up here and hit the plane button here. And while I've got the plane highlighted, I'm going to hit move. And I want to pull that plane out just a little bit above that curved surface right there. Now I'm going to hit plan view. I'm going to come over here and hit the dimension key. And I'm just going to pull a dimension across the middle here. And we're just going to put this right here. And now I'm going to change this to a different font. I kind of kind of like this font right here. And then while that's also highlighted, I'm going to type sample text. And then I think I can probably make it a little bigger here too. So I'm going to highlight it again and change the height to 10. And I think that looks pretty good. We'll get it uh, kind of centered here. And we want to highlight this text. And I'm going to spin this around a little bit so you can see. And then as I, while I've got that text highlighted, I'm going to come up here and hit the project button. And what it's going to do, as you see, is it's going to project that text onto that curved surface. So now I can come over here and turn this plane off here. And I'm going to come over here and hit pull. And I'm going to hold down the control button and highlight all of that text. Okay. And now we know that the surface that this is on is a 80, or I'm sorry, a 105 millimeter. So, and that's what it's showing now, 105. So I'm just going to change that to uh, 108 millimeter radius. And you can see that will raise that text up just a little bit. So there's how you can put some raised text on a curved surface. Now I'm going to highlight this surface here. We'll hit plan view, or actually I want to come over here and I want to rotate this whole part. So I'm going to highlight that solid, click move. There we go. And grab that green arrow and I'm going to spin this around to 270. And then I'm going to come and select this face right here. I'm going to hit the plane again. And now I'm going to hit the dimension and we'll throw a dimension on this right here. And I'm probably going to try to, let's see, let's highlight this and make this a little bit smaller because it's going to be probably too big for that. And then we'll put sample text. Let's highlight that plane and hit move. And pull that text out. There we go. And now we will highlight this text. Well, let's get on the select. There we go. And now we'll hit project. And now we can turn off that plane. 
and we can come and hit pull and we will once again hold the control key down and highlight the text and then as we pull this up we can hit our space bar and tell it how high we want it to raise up from the other surface so we'll just come 1.5 millimeters there's that sample text so that's two ways of doing it now i'm going to highlight this one and we'll hit a plane again and let's see here i'll hit move to bring this this plane out a little bit and then we'll hit the dimension key and we'll come over here and once again we'll type well, sample text and now if for this example I'm going to hit project and then we will turn this plane off and I will hit pull and again we'll hold the control key down but instead of pulling it out I'm going to sink it in a little bit so we will highlight all the lettering here and this time we'll push it in and we'll hit our space bar and we'll go 1.5 deep and there is our sample text right there now if you wanted to cut this all the way through you could but you'll have to remember that things like the center of this a and this P would fall out, so you need to uh, use a stencil type font for that. But uh, if you're just going to drop it down a little bit or raise it up, it should work fine. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. If you got anything out of this um, video and found it useful, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please consider doing so. Just hit the little subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until the next time, thank you very much for watching.